In some aspects of the legend's lore, we see Darth Vader successfully let go of his insatiable desire for revenge against the Jedi. In the novel Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader, the Sith Lord learned to let go of his concerns regarding the Jedi in the early weeks of the Empire. Even further, Vader was convinced that Anakin was gone, merely a memory of a life that seemed more like a dream than something he actually lived. However, we know that this momentary reprieve wouldn't last. Over the next two decades, Vader would be haunted by his memories and regrets as Anakin. And more, he would look forward to the inevitable confrontation that would come between himself and his former master Obi-Wan Kenobi. In this video expose, we'll look at Vader's thoughts upon seeing Obi-Wan again on the Death Star, the first time since their duel on Mustafar. To understand Vader's thoughts when seeing Obi-Wan again in Episode 4, it's necessary to look at how Vader obsessed about his former master in the months prior to their second confrontation. Traveling to the Death Star to oversee the battle station's final stages of construction, Vader would retire to his hyperbaric chamber on board the Star Destroyer, the Devastator. Typically, as he did on this particular journey, Vader would do so to reflect upon his memories, allowing his anger and rage to rise so that the dark side could feed upon it and free him from the constant pain experienced by his injuries and cybernetics. Vader wouldn't be healed, but he could experience momentary relief from his agony. The reprieve wouldn't last, and during this trip, only months before the events of A New Hope, Vader's thoughts would revert to an all too common place to what he had become thanks to the actions of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like he did so often when secluded with his thoughts, Vader focused on what his former master had made of him. But even more, Vader reached into the Force to feel that the Jedi was still alive, otherwise he would have felt the old man's death, of that he was sure. Only months before the Death Star's destruction, Vader knew that Obi-Wan was still alive. And this was a good thing, as it afforded Vader to seek revenge against his former master. Not for anything he'd done against Vader per se, but he would pay for what he did to Anakin, an interesting way of wording it within the Legends Death Star novel. Therefore, Vader was obsessed with his revenge against Obi-Wan, keeping track of Obi-Wan's existence within the Force, and waiting for the day that he would be able to collect the toll for what he did to Anakin Skywalker, the cause of the never-ending pain that was now experienced by Vader. All of this would immediately come to Vader's thoughts when Obi-Wan emerged through the halls of the Death Star. When Vader first saw his former master, he was honestly a bit taken aback. After so many years and so much space separating them throughout the galaxy, Obi-Wan was now right in front of him, his dreams of revenge now playing out in reality. Funny enough, after the initial shock of seeing Obi-Wan again wore off, Vader's thoughts then turned upon his former master's appearance. Vader noted that Obi-Wan had aged, the years clearly evident in his white beard and within the lines of his face. But the focus upon Obi-Wan's appearance then brought Vader into familiar territory. Just like we saw with Invader's memories from within his hyperbaric chamber, here too, with Obi-Wan right before him, Vader's thoughts went to Mustafar. It was impossible for Vader not to remember clearly how Obi-Wan looked during their last meeting. And what started with Vader remembering the appearance of Obi-Wan that day, turned into Vader reliving his experience upon the banks of the Lava River. Although Vader was light years away from Mustafar, it was like he was still there, when he'd been crippled by his former master and left to die a painful death. After remembering the outcome of their previous duel, Vader's anger smoldered like the lava stream that left him completely dependent upon his cybernetics. Although it's not totally apparent in Vader's confident tone and measured steps, underneath Vader's armor was a man completely overcome by rage and hatred, focused upon their previous duel on Mustafar, despite everything that had occurred in the intervening years. In fact, Vader's thoughts couldn't help but take note of the force that swirled between himself and Obi-Wan, forging a clear, palpable link amid the waves of light and dark. Therefore, as Vader looked upon Obi-Wan again for the first time in two decades, the Sith Lord's thoughts were dominated by the events of Mustafar, as his anger and need for revenge propelled him into the duel. These initial thoughts would eventually serve as the catalyst for when the dark side surged through Vader as powerfully as it ever had, which was during the brief moment when Vader thought he killed Obi-Wan, earning the revenge that he envisioned for years. So there we have it, Vader's thoughts when seeing Obi-Wan again in Episode 4. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For revenge!